Hi guys, I'm starting this weekly vlog on a Thursday in this awkward position in my kitchen. I can hear Archie coming. Hello, scruffy boy. You gonna come and say hello to everyone? Here he is, desperately in need of a groom. Yeah, you desperately need a groom, don't you? We need to get you booked in for next month. We need to get you booked in for next month so you can be all handsome. You are handsome anyway. You're handsome anyway, but you're just hairy. There we go. Where was I? <laughs> yeah, I'm starting this weekly vlog on a Thursday in this awkward position in my kitchen, in a bit of a rush, because I've got to go to work in a minute. But um, I really want to get back into a regular routine of uploading. And hopefully the last video that you will have seen will have been us sharing that baby Prendergast is a girl. It'll be a bit of a higgledy piggledy mismatch of days but um i just want to get back into the swing of filming and um editing and uploading again because my poor channel has been neglected so not a lot has really been going on i think i updated you at the end of the last vlog i uploaded um with bits and bobs that have been going on like my brother's wedding and the scans we'd had and all that sort of thing and then um the reveal video of our baby girl um, we'll tell you about that scan. Um, in terms of a quick pregnancy update, I am going to try and like not just focus on pregnancy and babies because it's not for everyone. But in terms of a quick pregnancy update, I am 17 weeks and one day today. It feels like it's going so fast and so slow at the same time. It's very odd. Um, but yeah, 17 weeks and one day. Um, I feel like a lot of the first trimester symptoms have sort of started to subside. Um, and I'm getting other sort of weird and wonderful symptoms, um, which are all very normal, but are, you know, slightly annoying. Um, like my skin is so dry at the moment and my eczema's coming back. And apparently at this stage, that's like textbook, so common for a lot of people. Um, and I'm, I still don't have that much of an appetite, so I haven't really gained much weight yet. Um, but I am eating a little bit better. I'm not being sick as much. And because I've changed my diet a little bit, the suspected gallbladder issues at the moment seem to be at bay. Um, I'm still very tired. I'm not really able to be active. I'm not like going out on walks or anything. I'm so tired. If I come home from work and sit on the couch, that's it. I'll be asleep. Or at the very least, I like won't be able to move for the rest of the day. So I'm trying, if there's something I need to do after work, I'm trying to go like straight out and do it. Um, or like pop in and visit my mum. So I'm like sat talking to her instead of just falling asleep on my couch at home. Um, yeah, I'm still feeling very sleepy, but I do have to remember that um, my body isn't the same as like a normal healthy woman who has fallen pregnant. I am chronically ill as well. So I do have to cut myself a little bit of slack. It might be that I just don't get that second trimester boost that a lot of women say they get. Um, I'm feeling very like congested and like hay fevery for the first time and again that's quite common as well um like sensitivity to allergens when you've not been sensitive to them before is apparently really common um i don't have covid don't worry i test for work um so yeah i don't have covid but i am feeling like congested and um just a bit weird um and i have backache and sort of like cramping quite a lot um and that's to do with like your digestive system slowing down and your ligaments all stretching and all that sort of thing so yeah i mean that makes it sound like i'm not feeling good i i'm not feeling great but i'm feeling a lot better than i was in the first trimester so that's good there isn't really anything going on at all in the next week or so so i don't know what i'll share with you but hopefully i'll figure something out um, but for now, I need to head off to work. So, little Archibald, you're going to say, bye. See you later. He just wants to snuggle all the time. Yeah. I love you too. He's my one and only boy. <laughs> you're my one and only boy. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It is now three o'clock. I've been home from work for a while. Oh, wow, Winnie. Oh, dearie me, there we go. I've been home from work for a while, had some food, relaxed on the couch for a bit, and now I'm about to do 
some washing. Um, I'm catching up basically because we haven't done washing in, I'll be honest with you, probably about 10 days. Um, I don't really know why. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you. That's very nice. Um, so I did a load last night. I'm doing like all of my like white and light coloured stuff now, although there is some of Will's stuff in there as well. Um, but his clothes are mainly darks. Um, so I'm just doing a light load now. And then tomorrow I'll hopefully be able to do the last like dark and coloured load of washing and we'll be caught up riveting content for you for my you know one of my first weekly vlogs back after my break riveting content Just a little update as well. The washing machine's gonna make loads of noise now. But we now have stair gates. We have one at the top of the stairs and one um, on the kitchen door here. Just because um, <laughs> we've been dog owners for more than five years and um, we've never had to have stair gates. But then we got Margot. And obviously the dynamic in the beginning with the three dogs was quite difficult. So they needed space away from each other. So we put the stair gate at the top of the stairs so that Archie could be upstairs with either Will or myself and Margot could be downstairs or vice versa so that they could have plenty of safe time away from each other. They're now like busy mates. <laughs> um, so that's really great. But um, we recently put a stair gate on the kitchen. But yeah, the box is still here because we haven't moved it up to the loft yet. We literally put this gate on last week, but it is taking us a long time to do anything, like I say. We're like 10 days behind on the washing. The stuff that needs to go in the loft that hasn't been put up there. Hey, eh? This rug needs a wash as well. It's a bit muddy, isn't it? That's because daddy trod his football boots in here. Was it yesterday or the day before? Can't remember. Also, because it's been a while, I thought I would show you my bullet journal. So I am still using a bullet journal. I have done so now since August of 2018. I've consistently used just an A5 hardcover bullet journal and this one was actually just a glittery like a rose goldy glittery notebook from TK Maxx with dot grid pages um it's not even like a, a decent brand or anything like that but I've been using this since the beginning of the year and I really enjoy it so I'm gonna try and see out the end of the year in this uh bullet journal and then I might treat myself to a nice one again like an Archer and Olive or something like that because I loved my Archer and Olive last year but yeah I haven't even updated my planner for this week even though there has been stuff going on and I know I've got some appointments and everything coming up in the next couple of weeks so I want to um try and fill this in and then plan out uh, my July calendar and all that jazz so that I feel a bit more organized because I haven't looked at this this week at all. Hello everybody, happy Friday. Um, I'm looking a little bit gross today my skin's playing up um I've got serious like dry skin issues at the moment and I think it's the pregnancy according to my apps um it's also a lot warmer than I expected so I won't chat for long but I'm just sat outside work I've just finished work and I'm debating going somewhere and having a little mooch around because to be totally honest with you I'm kind of sick of going home and just feeling like I'm gonna fall asleep on the couch as soon as I get inside I don't know what it is but as soon as I get into my house I'm exhausted. I mean, I feel pretty tired right now still anyway. But I don't know. I kind of want to go for a little mooch around somewhere. But I also feel like I don't want to spend any money. So yeah, not sure what to do. Maybe I'll just stop at Sainsbury's or something. And like, pick up something nice for lunch. I really fancy like a nice ice cold drink. Or something like that. And something nice to eat. 
maybe I'll do that instead because that'll be cheaper than like going into town and ending up buying baby clothes or something. Um, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> I'll speak to you in a bit. Sorry for the dodgy angle. Um, it's Tuesday, but it's Tuesday the 6th of July. Um, so it's been a week and a half since I last spoke to you, I think. Um, I don't have any excuse other than I've just been really tired and also quite busy. Like, I'm not busy with anything like particularly interesting that I would film for you guys, but I just had lots going on at, at work, like lots of meetings. Um, it's the last half term now before the summer holidays, which is always a crazy one, even when you are sort of like distanced from the rest of the workforce like I am. Um, the kids are doing the school play and it's just really busy. And um, there's a lot of transition stuff, like thinking ahead to next year and where the kids are gonna be and where the staff are gonna be. And like, um, it's just a really busy half term. Anyone who works in a school will definitely know what I mean. Um, so anyway, that's all I really have to update you on. I did do a bunch of scrapbooking um, for the first time in a really long time. I did some Project Life scrapbooking and I finished my 2020 album, which was such an achievement. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Saw a few friends, hung out with my mum for an afternoon. That's, that's pretty much it. And now we are on Tuesday the 6th of July and I have a little homeware haul for you. Um, basically, I am wanting to spruce up the living room a little bit specifically. There's th a few things that need doing in several rooms, but the living room in particular is one that I would really like to spruce up a bit. Uh, none of the furniture really like properly matches. It's all like secondhand furniture, which is fine. Like when you are living in like your first or second house and you know you didn't really have any furniture to bring with you like people are very kind often and they'll like give you the furniture that they're getting rid of and that definitely was the case for us and then anything that we did buy was like really cheap um so in the bedroom we've updated some of our furniture and i've upcycled some of the wooden furniture we had but in the living room everything is still that mismatch of like hand-me-down furniture and with the baby coming and having just done the kitchen extension, we can't afford to change any of it. Um, so I just wanted to get some new cushions, some new throws. I want to get some new picture frames or like paint the ones that I've got. Um, eventually we're gonna get a faux fireplace like we had in the old house and put a mirror above it and everything. Um, we just wanna spruce up this room because I feel like since we've had the kitchen done, this room kind of lets the rest of the house down. And we're also gonna replace the lighting because half of the lighting in here doesn't work and the other half is really bad. So I've got some lights here as well that I'll show you, but I just thought I would share some of the bits I've bought. It's been majorly on a budget. Everything here that I'm about to show you is from Asda. So like you don't have to spend a lot of money at all, um, but I set aside a little bit of my savings. Um, so money that I would have normally put into my savings this month, I set aside half of that um, to buy a few bits um, for the house to just try and make myself feel a little bit better. Nesting has definitely kicked in. I'm like desperate to get the house sorted before the baby comes. So this little faux plant was six pound. I thought the pot was nice and that's to go in the downstairs toilet, which also still needs to be finished because the painting in there actually still isn't finished. Um, and then I got this throw with pom-poms. It says white on the website, but it's definitely like an off-white. I wanted off-white cream. Um, so I read the reviews to see what people were saying and they all said it was definitely like a creamy color. So I got that. Um, this was 20 pounds, I think. Um, so apart from the lights, this was the most expensive thing I bought. Um, and this was six pounds. Can't remember if I said that or not. And then to match the throw, I got these cushions. 
So they are pom-pom cushions. They are white on the back, but they're like an off-white knitted um, colour on the front. Those are to go on this main couch. And the throw is going to go on the armchair in the corner. So it's just to try and like tie both sides of the room together a little bit. And then, as you can see, they sent it in like six different parcels. So this cushion was like my inspiration for the room in general because um, I'm loving these like more muted pinks at the moment and I'm that's going to be sort of like the main colour of the baby's nursery I think when we eventually do her nursery um, and I just I loved this obviously it's a rainbow rainbows are a big thing for me at the moment with you know expecting our rainbow baby and this room is very much like earthy tones our couch is very similar to this like um, torpy colour here, or taupe, however you pronounce it. Margot is coming to investigate. Um, so this was like my inspiration cushion. So I bought the cream to go with this. And then I bought these, which for me in the living room is quite a bold step. And I don't think Will's particularly happy about having more pink around the place, but he'll get over it, I'm sure. Um, it's a bit dirty, that's annoying. Um, but yeah, so I thought these would go really nicely together on this couch. Um, so I bought three of them and they were only four pounds each, which is why I got them because I thought total bargain. Um, so these will like sit together on this couch and I thought that would look really nice. And then one of these pink cushions can go on the armchair. And then I think it's just the lights. So I'll open one of them to try and show you. Um, that sounded like it just made a rattling noise, which is never what you want. Okay, cool. Okay, so this is the light. <laughs> not that you can see because I've got so many boxes. That's the light. It's like a shabby chic sort of vibe. And I went for something with multiple bulbs because it will give us a bit more light, hopefully. And um, I actually like that. I think that's going to go really nice in here. So I bought two of them because we've got two ceiling lights in here. We've also got wall lights, but we're gonna block the wall lights off. We're just gonna disconnect them. So yeah, that's my little chandelier. I've got two of those. I do really like them actually. So I think I might buy two more and have them put up in the bedroom. Cool. Okay, well, I better open the other one and check that it's all right, but then I'm gonna put all my new stuff out and we'll see what we think. So it's actually now Thursday. I've had a super busy week. <laughs> Look at Marco. <laughs> um, I've had a super busy week and I didn't get to show you my cushions. So this is how they are looking and I really love them. Hang on, I'll get up off the couch and actually show you properly. So obviously I've been just chilling on the couch, hence the <laughs> fact that they're all sort of like ruffled and squished. But I love it. It's really added some like brightness to the room and it's confirmed to me that I'm doing the right thing in changing things up a little bit. And we're also thinking of changing this corner of the room. At the moment, as you can see, it's a complete dumping ground anyway. Um, but there's my new cushion and throw, and I think it looks really cute. And then I've actually got a bunch of baby stuff here that needs to be sorted out. So this is the baby's laundry basket, which I'm going to take upstairs. My mum very kindly bought us the little bedside uh, crib, like bassinet that we're going to use. And then she also... <laughs> bought me this from TK Maxx which is like a rainbow uh, muslin and this is the sort of colour scheme I'm going for in the nursery as well um, and these pram pegs which will be really useful um, and then this is actually a bag of my clothes from when I was a baby um, look at this coat it's got like pink velvet collar these little pink velvet buttons look at that and then on the back it's a little bow oh so cute I mean it needs tidying up a bit like these threads knee clipping and everything but it's size 18 months so it will fit her like <laughs> eventually but um oh and also look at my shoes oh so cute um so my mum and dad like cleared out the loft recently and um my mum found a bunch of my old baby clothes and she's kept some like sentimental pieces but um she gave me like two big bags of stuff and said to take what I wanted and then to charity shop the rest. So that's what I've done. You can see a bunch of stuff in there. 
Um, so my plan is now to store all of her clothes in the laundry basket until we do the nursery and um, leave the laundry basket upstairs because there's plenty of space in there. Um, this is from Matalan, by the way. Um, there's a fly flying around. Um, but yeah, anyway, my point was the cushions are looking cute and we're definitely doing the right thing by changing things up in here. Like I say, we're thinking of moving this bookcase. We are thinking of moving the bookcase over here, putting it there and moving the basket over next to the chair and like pushing the chair into the corner and it will just create more space in the room and make it feel a little bit more open. And eventually I'm gonna put some large photos up here, like six A3 sized photos um, stacked in like two rows of three. And if we have the bookcase there, it kind of fixes the issue of the pictures not being central on the wall. Instead, they'll be central between like, uh, like the, the length of the couch. So I think that'll be good. But yeah, that was a random little introduction to Thursday. Um, basically, I think I spoke to you on the Tuesday and I ended up having um, a phone call with my consultant, um, called the doctor about my eye. Uh, then Wednesday, yesterday, I spent the afternoon with my mum. And then today I took a carload of stuff to the charity shop after work, came straight home and had a therapy session. Um, and I've just been sat watching Vampire Diaries. <laughs> so um, I haven't really had a chance to update but yeah happy thursday and um can't remember if there's anything else i wanted to tell you look at these girls honestly are you best friends do you love each other you do margot is a very very vocal dog so she'll like grumble at you and um as you can hear, she's grumbling away now. <laughs> um, she's so sweet. But yeah, they love each other, these two. Until Margot tries to play with Winnie and then Winnie's not having any of it. Also, I got like a pick and mix the size of my head today because that's what I've been craving all week and I wanted mainly like sour sweets. So I'm hoping that that's going to at least last me the weekend. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> it's Sunday and I'm gonna sign off the vlog here I have been feeling a bit blah the last couple of days so hence not filming anything I'm fine I'm just tired and lacking in motivation um, but you haven't missed anything the last couple of days it's just been work doing things around the house that sort of thing um, but I'm not having a very good day today <laughs> Um, my laptop's broken and I don't know how I'm going to get this video sorted. I'll have to try and do it through Will's laptop and I've got a blog post to go up for Lisa at Lollipop Box Club and I'll have to use his laptop for that as well because I need to schedule that today. Just feeling a bit overwhelmed. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will see you next week. Hopefully you're having a better day than me. Yeah, see you next week, guys.